should you buy old vintage carbon wheels you know or are the carbon technology really behind what we've got today do the brakes not work anywhere near as well and is the ride performance you know subpar to a modern rim well if um i just bought these new reynolds wheels off a friend at work actually well i didn't buy them i swapped them for a set of camping euros but um so i've got these wheels and i did a, a quick video on it just the other day so if you haven't watched that check it out but um let's roll an intro and let's really talk about you know is it really worth it buying rims that are almost vintage or really old carbon wheels are they any good Well, these wheels have cost me pretty much, well, I've swapped some wheels and those wheels are, you know, pretty worn. But, um, you know, probably about 50% of brake track had been used up and they were Campagnolo Euros and I've swapped them for these carbon rims. Now, these are Reynolds Assault wheels and they would have been pretty pricey in their day, probably maybe a couple of thousand bucks. And I did have some problems with, I had to, I couldn't get a free hub to fit the old KT hub. So I had to use a donor hub from one of my worn out carbon Reynolds rims and had it put in there so I've got them all working now and they're all being rebuilt up and I've had a good chance to sort of ride them around and do a few K's on them and it's really actually quite amazing how good these wheels perform they really smooth and even um, even the braking is actually quite good admittedly I am running some modern Reynolds Cairo carbon pads on there the the blue Cairo's the blue pads if you're familiar with the Reynolds ones and they work really really well they're actually really good in the wet as well so I've got those on the bike and the braking performance is pretty good I mean you could probably argue a modern rib may be slightly better but it's like 90 to 95 percent there so the braking is really good and the way that they ride you know if you uh, did a blind test you wouldn't be able to tell these from say you know a modern rim that was a couple of years old rim brake rim to these rims which are almost vintage they're almost 15 years old so it is really quite impressive and it actually goes to show that buying this old secondhand stuff is really worth it and you can get some really high quality products for a really reasonable price so that's really what i'm trying to say in this video say hey look you know if, if you can't afford to buy you know these new expensive bikes that are on the market there's a lot of product out there that people dismiss as being not worthy or just rubbish because either oh, got the carbons not any good the the old brake tracks never work that well well if you put the modern carbon rims on them they do actually perform pretty well now i haven't taken it down you know some massive mountain and seeing if they overheat now they could be inferior in those sorts of situations but if you're just riding normally around you don't do a lot of really long steep descents these secondhand wheels are really real bargain and the performance or the ride quality you get out of them is really up to the modern what you'd expect from a modern wheel so i actually pretty impressed with them and um, i never expected them to be so good so it's really something that that uh, you should guys should look at and keep an eye on the second hand market because you can get some wheels like this i mean this bike here if you have a look at it looks pretty smart with these reynolds assaults on they look pretty good and you know they didn't really cost me very much at all you know apart from just having the wheel rebuilt and and uh, providing a donor hub but you may not have a donor hub you may not have that but normally you can pick up bits and pieces or you could pick up a a hub um to get it into our 11 or 12 speed because that's the problem with these old wheels generally they're old 10 speeds and that could be a bit of an issue with some of the brands like zip and that it's not so easy you can't get replacement parts for them but if you're a little bit careful what brand you buy you can really pick up some real bargains well anyway guys that's where i'm going to leave it just wanted to put that out there that hey look these things are really great to ride and you know the stuff that we write off as being vintage and old and rubbish carbon they're actually not as rubbish as really we all think 